Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I thought I would share with you guys how James and I decorated for Christmas this year. Holidays are right around the corner. Maybe this could give you guys some ideas. We went super minimal this year compared to last year. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you would know, all right? I'll have the old video linked down below just for fun. <laughs> but uh, I kind of cringe at how we decorated last year. So we went very minimal, super light, bright, white and gold. So it's mostly just our living area. We don't really decorate the whole place. We don't have a lot of storage space. Okay, so we can't really have too, too much going on. So definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for new videos every single week. Let's get into this holiday tour 2000. 19. Okay. Ready? <laughs> Ladies, if you buy yourself a white Christmas hat and you wear makeup, just stick a piece of white toilet paper under it and no one will ever know. That's my little secret. Not a secret anymore though. You're welcome. We went with a white and gold theme this year and if you've been watching our channel for a while, you would know we went with the red and green classic Christmas. So we definitely are going for more of a minimal vibe, okay? Very clean, crisp, white, Scandinavian look. And it's gonna be very simple looking and just very bright. So we mixed it up this year and we put our Christmas village on our ladder rack. It works out perfectly, it's cute. You got the, the different levels. You got, it's already white so you don't have to put the fake snow, okay? I don't have time for that. These were all from when I was a little kid, so. They have a lot of sentimental value. My dad was really big into Christmas villages, so kept it all. And I just think it adds like warmth and cuteness. I don't think Christmas is complete without one. But some of these are not lit up because we didn't have um, enough like extension cord space and we're not trying to overdo it. We don't want a power outage here, so. We just had to put the garland, you know, swag the garland. I believe that's what the term is. We swagged the garland all the way down. This garland is from Walmart and it was only $9 each. Pre-lit and I might grab some of that fake snow and kind of cover it up with some fake snow. Don't know yet. But yeah, absolutely love how this looks. It's just perfect. I mean, when you have a banister or stairwell, whatever, garland is just the classic look. You know what I'm saying? Okay guys, so for the couch, again, nice and simple. Just picked up this really nice, cozy blanket. It looks like it's like a knitted, quilty look. I really like that look. It's very homey, very cozy. It's like a white, almost off-white. This was $25 at Target. It is so, so, so soft. It's from the brand Threshold. Guys, they're my new favorite. I love this brand. It's a nice long blanket because all of our other ones, like, don't cover your feet. That's my biggest pet peeve. Did you get my mocks in it, in here? You get my mocks? <laughs> yeah, this is how your girl rolls. Nice. Okay. The holiday. <laughs> but yeah, so I really love neutrals, as you can tell. I love it. I like a space I can just walk in and, oh, it feels like a breath of fresh air. And honestly, when you have a small living space like this, like an apartment, when it's small, lighter colors are essential to making rooms look much larger. So. If I were to go dark, a lot of dark in here, it would just shrink the room in half, so, yeah. All right, guys, so for the couch, I mean, I think you guys met Wolfie, right? This is our stuffed dog. No, is he, an, is he a wolf or a dog? It's a wolf, girl. Is he? His name's okay. Wolfie. Okay. All right, guys, so Wolfie is our stuffed wolf. We kind of pretend he's a dog sometimes because we're not allowed to have pets in his apartment. Okay, let's not talk about it. I don't like that. I was raised with dogs my whole life, so to not have a dog kills me. It kills me. So yeah, this is Wolfie. Wolfie stays on the couch comfy. We got some cozy pillows, and I, actually this is new. I just picked up from Target as well. Target's my new jam for interior design, okay? I always love them, but now more than ever, I'm addicted. I believe this is from Threshold as well. These are disgusting. These pillows are from Kmart, and they're literally like 10 years old. But I like it because it's still quilty. Okay? It gives that little, that little comfort level that I'm looking for. You know what I'm saying? And it matches our new blanket. And it match. It kind of. It actually does match. This I believe was once this color, but it got so <laughs> dinged up. Okay. Don't ask. Probably my fake self tanner. You can see the difference too. One I one know. is like an off white, and the other looks like too white. Yeah. <laughs> this this is gonna end up like that, all right? And I'm gonna cry. It's all the fake tanner, folks. You should see our bed sheets. It's 
not even go there. <laughs> I, you guys are probably gonna wonder where this awesome hat is from. It's only three dollars from Christmas Tree Shop. James has one in red, and see what I mean about the quilt? Look how cute this is. I thought it was different. It kind of, I feel like the quilted look is not only cozier, but it gives off a more vintage kind of vibe for me, a very quaint type of feeling, and I like that feeling, so went with this instead of the traditional. We got this decorative pillow from Christmas Tree Shop as well, guys. They are so awesome. If you're looking for inexpensive decor, if you happen to have one near you, check them out. They're awesome. So yeah, really love it because it goes with everything. Still got the brown tones, very light. How pretty that is. You got a deer. Oh, warm tones, love. Yankee candle, of course. Candle lover. Now this, table right here. We don't have enough room in our apartment for like a full-fledged coffee table, so this is what we use. We don't really need much. Anyway, it's just the two of us. Um, but we got this from TJ Maxx on sale for like 80 bucks and check it out. It's a very Scandinavian look with the tree branches that are intertwined, kind of twisted up with a wooden top. So real wood. Love it. It's just painted white. So this just really gives a very nature-esque vibe that we like we like that clean nature vibe so this is our fireplace can you believe we're not allowed to have electric heaters in this apartment complex we wanted to get one of those fake electric fireplaces but we're not allowed to have that we're not even allowed to have candles burning but that's just too far absolutely not so yeah, this is our fireplace. It's the best we can do. <laughs> Got a TV fireplace going. Just YouTube um, fireplace. And it'll be literally, they have them for two hours, six hours long. I, whenever I'm editing my videos, I just blast it up, keep it on, chill, relax, and act like I'm next to a fireplace. So it's a little trick I like to do. They even got the crackling sound. So it just adds to it, yeah. This is our fireplace slash mantle, okay? Make do with what you got. All right, hopefully this is giving you guys some ideas. If you're in a similar situation, living in an apartment or whatever. So we got some matching gold lanterns and it has like these little cranberry pines on it. Little plaid ribbon, they're very, very pretty. Got these, they were only like seven or eight dollars from Christmas tree shops. Love them. And we got this very like earthy Scandinavian fur, fall fur um, stocking. So we got one for each of us here. Not like they'll be in use or anything. We're getting cold this year. My stocking's never full. What the heck? This is the highlight of the day. Check out our Amazon tree we just bought. From the Amazon. From Amazon. Not the Amazon. <laughs> Guys, this is a 7.5 foot pre-lit. What's the word they use? Frosted? It was like. It was a. It was a weird flocked. word. Flocked. That was a word. That sounds like something that you do to yeah. criminals. Um, we did red and gold balls last year, but we just stuck with the gold. These were really nice. They came in a whole container at Walmart, very cheap, and you have the matte and like the shiny. So it gives a nice little mixture. See that? Nice. These candy canes are from last year as well. These we found. They were tucked away in our storage, so. We couldn't throw those out though, no right? <laughs> We wanted a pre-lit, frosty looking tree. It was extremely messy. Yes, it was. Very messy, but it comes right off the ground. Just vacuum it up, no problemo. This tree was like $180, very, very cheap. It's from the brand Best Something. I'll have everything linked down below. I don't remember what it was called, so. We got a faux fur tree skirt I think it's from Faux fur, right? No, it's faux fur. Faux fur? Just or say faux? fake. <laughs> Just say fake. <laughs> Stop trying. Yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> it's, a... it's fake fur. Alright. I wouldn't do real fur. I don't do that. But it looks really dope because, you know, it could look like a uh, real snow covered tree because you got snow on the bottom. But it's fur. This baby was less than 20 bucks. I'll have this link too. This joy sign that um, the batteries are literally dying in <laughs> uh, is from Christmas Tree Shop too. So really cute, gives that pop of color so it's not all just white. This is my newest edition that I just got from TJ Maxx. Check it out. 
come on close. They're like handmade wooden gift boxes. They're just hollow. They're really pretty, the white and gold. Um, the guy that checked us out at TJ Maxx got a splinter in his hand. I felt really bad, but um, so they are like real wood. <laughs> I obviously had to get the three because I went to school for design and the number one rule of design is when putting something next to each other, you either do three or one by itself. Two just looks funky and it's it offsets everything. This baby I've had since I was little, it fits the theme perfectly. Look at this wooden Rudolph. So that is what our tree's looking like. These will be the only gifts under the tree this year. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, for me. Yeah, for you. No. And right over on the counter, I put my lucky Santa Claus. This is actually from my grandmother. She painted it, so. Has a lot of sentimental value. I hope I never break it. And he's winking, which is funny because my grandma always used to wink at me, so. All right guys, so that is it. That was our holiday tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.